This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Why not start off the Korean vlogs with a sponsor? From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. My mom is from Korea. I haven't been to Korea in 20 years, which means this is the first time I've ever skateboarded in Korea. And this is the first day. <laughs> enjoy the scenery so far. It's been 20 years since I've been here. So we're just gonna skate around, explore, enjoy everything as much as possible and just document the whole time, especially because I'm hanging out with family and it's awesome. But yeah, we flew in yesterday and it was kind of just like a, a blur. It, was, it went by so fast. Coffee. Neither of us can speak the language. We're so dupes. I thought it'd be fun to get the perspective of people who actually skateboard in Korea, and I wanted different perspectives, so I reached out to three people the via Instagram. Also, I cut myself shaving, so just ignore that. Let's start with Jason Choi, swagged out skater, looking all types of swag, super good, and I asked all three of these people the same question. What's up with the skate scene in Korea? What's it like? Jason said, the scene is great. The way of doing things here are a lot different. We got army, which is mandatory, which means by the time you are at your peak, in a way, they call you to come join the army so it messes up your path slash career. Also, Korean parents are very strict on what their sons and daughters are gonna become in the future. So most likely they want them to be in school and studying most of their life. It's getting better nowadays, but Korea needs more time and more motivation. Also, most Koreans are stuck in the box. We use this a lot. They are not risk takers. They do things by facts and what they know. And because of all that, the skate scene sort of dies out quick. There are not many big people supporting the skate scene. What the and for this video, I'm just gonna talk about what Jason said because that's a lot to unravel. Americans seem to romanticize creativity, which is really easy for me to do as well because of my day and age, this time. My parents weren't pushed to be creative. Americans seem to understand more and more that creativity leads to innovation, which leads to faster growth. What I perceive from the Korean side of my family is what Jason said. It seems to be less about risk taking, to go just buy the book and follow the career paths that seem so obvious, but also focusing more on the title of the career rather than what genuinely makes you feel fulfilled. Allowing industries to keep running and operating, but not really putting much emphasis on changing the status quo. For example, my mom is proud of me. She loves the fact that I've built careers on things that I'm passionate about, creative careers, while also putting in a lot of work ethic. She knows that I work very hard. But sometimes someone will mention an American career that my peers would see as boring, like a nine to five office job with countless people to outrank. She liked the idea of my military father moving up in the ranks. She likes the idea of a pastor, a lawyer, a doctor, lots of ers and ors. An easy title that used to carry a lot more weight and respect, as they should. But to me, and a lot of my peers, they probably see what I do as more 
fulfilling. Not not saying that doctor, obviously being a doctor is really fulfilling because you're saving people's lives, but just working for yourself and being able to make videos and skateboard and um, doodle and all these creative things that I've always loved, these hobbies I basically turned to a career and also making more money than I would doing any of those other things. Money is definitely not the end game either and there's more on that. She'll hear these titles and say things like, oh, you should try that or you, you could do that really well and my brain can't comprehend on, on like, why? She, like a lot of Koreans and Americans, put more uh, value on the title that impresses other people rather than the emotional state a career can put you in. <laughs> Got it. First of all, thank you for coming and attending wedding party. I am very honored I can be here with you. Sunny and I promise that we are get along with and disappointed each other. And forever. I will respect Sunny anywhere and any situation. In addition, I want to introduce the Korean culture and show you Busan. Don't be sorry and don't be hesitate <laughs> to ask, uh, inquire anything. I hope your stay will be fantastic in Busan. <laughs> if I ha if I make a small mistakes, don't beat me and <laughs> don't be angry. <laughs> and please, thank you. I feel like it's a new one that I could probably do down something, which I eventually want to try. But for now, my brother just hit me up. Coffee session, beautiful city. I gotta stop being so optimistic because it sounds cheesy, but it just feels good. New city, travel, all that stuff. I have a very important summary of this whole skateboarding in Korea thing. But first, a word from our sponsor. Squarespace empowers millions of dreamers, doers, makers to build an online presence and make themselves known. It's been essential for me to showcase the best parts of my work, everything that I do in life, in creativity, I can put it all in this one place for people to see and see who John Hill is. It has award-winning templates you can choose from, so many award-winning customer service where you can contact someone pretty much 24 seven. You can have a live chat for most of the day, most of the week. If you already have a domain, you can transfer it super easily or you can see what's available by, by just searching it really quickly. It's such a simple process. It's so funny that building a website used to be so complex and now it literally is just signing up and building a website in the matter of minutes. And then of course you can spend all the time you want to customize it however you want. But the best thing with Squarespace, the thing that I utilize it the most for is the online store. Really easy to set up an online store to sell whatever your dreams are, whatever your ambitions are. You can start it here, test your new product, test your new design, your new ideas. To me, it's a marketing necessity. You can also set up online email campaigns where people get notified of any new thing that you're doing, no matter what. Use the link in the description down below or squarespace.com slash John Hill to get 10% off. 10% 10 10 off your first purchase or your first domain. Now, let's take a more exaggerated version. Dragon Ball Z. The main character, Goku, is in a constant pursuit to be the best martial arts fighter in all of existence. All he wants to do is challenge the universe's best fighters. He trains nonstop and he has saved the planet and the universe from destruction multiple times. But here's what his wife has to say about it. I don't want our son growing up without an education the way his father did. Is that so wrong? 
Are you trying to tell me that Gohan's studies are more important than saving the Earth? That's right, mister! There's nothing more important than Gohan's studies right now! Obviously this seems silly, but as time goes by, the mindset for us to pursue jobs to impress other people's or to just impress our parents to have this title that really doesn't matter overall will seem just as silly. And according to Jason, this is why the skate scene has yet to thrive. If this is the case, the skaters in Korea will have to undergo a true sense of rebellion. Jason, Hyun, and Yulana, the people I messaged, will have to undergo uncertain paths and be okay with other people seeing them as outsiders. But I don't think there's that much to fear. I think the change and the push for creative paths, creative careers, is growing exponentially. And if you're not making good money, you're at least doing something you enjoy. You're not making more money than you need doing something that bores you, that actually limits you from doing the exciting hobbies. Money isn't the end game, excitement is. Life is only complex because the world tells us it is. Simply, passion leads to innovation, which ironically the world is willing to pay more for. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>